here. We have a lot of things you can do from yeah, ground climbing. In the street, we're talking about other tools, not just your hands and feet. You have to watch out when you grab somebody for something like this. Same thing is true in the up position. When we're dealing with this, most people care. I, I know I have for years and years. You've got a folder. We get into a fight, he starts getting in where he can get in here. I've got to the ground, I've got lots I can do, I've got a blade I can use. So we go a lot further than just, you know, the I don't want to get down here and try to get him in a triangle choke or something. The problem is when I get him in this position is a third party intervening. I don't want to stay down here and play. That's what I don't want. That's well, this you can use, you have to understand, anytime we're talking about a street situation, if he's no longer a threat, this is not justified. The only thing I'm saying is from a street perspective, if you're thinking about using grappling techniques, the problem with that is the guy you're dealing with that's, that ends up in the position I'm in right now may not worry about the legalities. So you don't want to put yourself in the position he's in right now. Okay. Now, if I end up in the up position on this, if I end up in the up position on this, we're fighting, we, we get tied up, and he passes and gets in that choke and pulls me off balance. <laughs> over here, I may hit him and get the hell out of here. I don't want to stay down here because a third party could intervene at any time. Okay? Get the idea? Let's go ahead and work a little bit.